welcome to Sue's Kitchen. I am Sue Moulton, your Pamper Chef Consultant, and I am getting ready to prep some food for dinner for my husband since I have a really busy day today in the office and I have a show tomorrow morning. So I thought I would come live and just chat with you for a little bit about my cooking and what tools I'm going to be using in the process so that you can hang out with me. So I am using our veggie peeler and you'll notice in a lot of my videos I talk about saving your um, your carrot peels for putting in your soup. So usually once every couple weeks I buy a roaster chicken and then I take the roaster chicken. Um, <laughs> I have a little doggy here that would like a carrot. I don't think you can see her, but I will back the camera up so that you can. Can you see? Here, here, can you come over here? There she is. So every time I uh, every time I peel carrots, she comes running. So it's kind of funny. So she always gets an extra carrot. Um, so my veggie peeler peels in both directions. I tell you to save your peels because if you put your peels in your soup broth, it adds fiber and nutrition to your um, soup and really gives it a really nice depth of flavor. So ends of your celery, your peels of your potatoes, if you're doing potatoes, uh, the ends of your broccoli, like I don't use the stems of my broccoli, a lot of people do, but I don't. Um, so it just depends on what you're doing. So I am gonna be doing roasted carrots, potatoes, and onions on my large bar pan. And if you don't already own stoneware, I always say the large bar pan is probably the most versatile. You'll notice mine is almost black. Um, and it's so well used. I have two of these that are just as black as black can be. I've had them for years. Stoneware is um, a porous type surface that um, our stoneware is kilned at over 2,000 degrees. So it makes it so that the pores are super, super fine. So moisture can go through them, but you're not going to get um, uh, dripping of fat. So I had a customer one time that said that she had bought a pizza stone at like the Christmas tree shop or some cheap place like that and that it ended up um, going, catching her oven on fire. And uh, the reason that was is because her oven, um, the, the oils from bacon or chicken or whatever else she was cooking on it seeped through her stone and caught her oven on fire. So you're not going to have that problem with Pampered Chef stoneware. It's definitely um, high quality and the pores are really fine. So this is my glass batter bowl. You'll notice the new design. It has an open handle here. Hey guys. Um, open handle so that they nest inside each other, which is nice. They have a new better pouring spout. It still has our fabulous etched glass for eight cups, but the cover is now microwave and dishwasher safe. So I'm just going to add my peels in here for later so that I can um, make my soup and I'm just going to push it off to the side. I'm also going to be roasting some Brussels sprouts and I'm going to be roasting that on my glazed stoneware. So we have glazed and unglazed stoneware here. So uh, glazed stoneware can go in the dishwasher. It also goes in the oven and in the microwave. Same with our unglazed stoneware. Um, it can go in the oven and in the microwave, but not in the dishwasher. So if that's something um, that you uh, are interested in, it's beautiful for entertaining. That's why we call it our entertaining platter set. And we have bowls. And now we have a chip and dip tray, which you've probably seen me do a couple of videos on. Love the chip and dip tray. You can put your tray in the refrigerator and make it cold. And then you'll find that um, when you do that, you can do like a cheese tray on it this summer. Or you can do um, some of the videos that I've done so far is the California club ring or the turkey ring, um, ham broccoli ring, and also taco ring. Taco ring is like our, our signature um, ring from Pampered Chef that went viral years ago. Maybe we can make this go viral, right? You guys can share my, uh, my post when you're done. So 16 cup capacity. So I just want to show you this. Like, look at the difference in this. They look like they're about the same size. This is double the amount of volume as this. Doesn't look it, does it? It all has to do with the shape of it. Now this is heavier because it's glass, but it also goes in the microwave and in the oven, the dishwasher, and it can go in the stove. This, however, because it has silicone bottom, cannot go in the microwave. Well, it's metal, it can't go in the microwave, but it can't go in the oven either, but it does go in the dishwasher and they both have lids. But I like this because you can stick your thumb up through the bottom and wrap your fingers around and, and mix and pour and it's got great capacity. And it comes as a set of three that you can get. Um, and what I'm doing with this is I'm using, um, you'll notice my chef's knife 
um, I use this the most. We do play a lot of virtual games, and I ask you what the most popular knife is, and then I tell you that the, the knife that I use most, and this is the knife I use most. And by the way, you use your loser fingers so you don't lose a finger, everybody, and you don't hold your knife here. You choke up and you pinch the blade here. Um, the new knives that Pampered Chef has, um, which I have in my kit, have the logo imprinted right where your fingers go on the chef's knife so that you can um, know the proper placement. And when you're cutting with a chef's knife, here's a tip for all of you, you want to do what's called landing the plane. You come down and forward, down and forward, down and forward. That's the motion. So if you leave the tip on the board, you can do that without lifting your knife off the board at all and you look like Rachel Ray. So you're feeding with your uh, non-dominant hand and you're cutting with your dominant hand. So if you're in one of my virtual parties and I post this video into it for you, I want you to private message me. You need to tell me whose show you're in because I do about 10 virtual parties a week and if you'd like to have a virtual party and earn a free shopping spree with Pampered Chef, this is the month to do it. So uh, there's a great 60% off bonus. So um, private message me, tell me who show you're in, and then tell me that with a chef's knife or a utility knife, you use landing the plane motion for cutting. So you're gonna say landing the plane, chef's knife, and then the show that you're in. So I am cutting up um, potatoes that I pre-washed. I peeled my carrots. I'm going to slice my onion on a uh, veggie wedger. So if your kids are in sporting events and they are in like basketball um, or a sporting event that you might bring them some sliced or wedged oranges to, you're going to want to see this next tool because I have a dog waiting for her next carrot. She's like, um, can I get another one? You want another carrot? Is that what you want? Just a minute. Um, oh, hold on. Got a, got a black spot in my potato. All right. You ready, puppy? You want another carrot? Yes. He's such a good dog. So that's my dog, Gracie, by the way. All right, so veggie wetter. So if you didn't know, there is a way that you can cut an onion without crying. I learned this from my friend Laura Antical. It was a very great tip, didn't know that. But if you take your knife and you cut around the edge like this, and you cut around the, um, the part that has the root, that is where the sulfates from the soil go up into the onion, and it's the sulfates that make you cry. So if you can, cut around the little root of the onion and just pull the onion root out. And by the way, that goes in your soup part too. Um, it will help it so that you don't cry so much. Oh, I forgot, I was gonna use this tool. I'm so used to chopping with my knife. So this is the veggie wedger that I was talking about. It'll take an orange and it'll just uh, slice it right into tiny pieces. So usually I just stick my whole onion or um, bell pepper. I'll just do half at this point. Um, in the center here, and then you just line it up, and then, oh, you get turned sideways, so the handles go down, and then you just rock it, and wedge it. There you go. And then you just get perfect wedges like this. So we're going to do that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to throw that into this big stainless steel bowl. We're going to add a bunch of olive oil to it, or grapeseed oil, whatever oil you use. Um, for this, I'm actually just gonna pour it on. I do have a kitchen spritzer here on my counter, which I'll show you. If you own stoneware and your stoneware is not seasoned, you do not want to use Pam spray. No, no, not on our cookware, not on our um, stoneware. Do not use Pam spray. It is very bad for your stones. What you wanna use is straight oil. So our kitchen spritzer, you add your own oil in, you pump the air in yourself, and then you spritzer it. Um, and you're gonna have the same aerosol spray. Now, heavier oils like olive oil, those um, tend to spray more as a stream, whereas lighter oils like grapeseed or canola, those will spray like an aerosol. So um, just know that, that it sprays differently based on the, the weight of, the, um, of your oil. 
Um, and so the rest of this, whoops, the onion, I'm going to stick over here in my composting bucket, which I started doing a couple years ago. This city girl learned to compost. How great is that? Oh, I missed a potato. Um, so uh, for those of you who don't know me, um, I was born down in Massachusetts and I grew up in Bristol, New Hampshire. And when I met my husband, he was living rurally and he, his sister and his mom were up on scaffolding and they were um, putting shakes or shingles, I guess you call it, shakes maybe, um, on the side of their house. <laughs> My husband asked if I wanted to go up and help, and um, uh, he took a picture of it because he thought it was hysterical to see me doing physical labor. So I've come a long way since then. I was helping saw some, uh, we have a portable sawmill now, and I was helping him with that the other day. So kind of funny. So now we're going to add our oil, and then I'm going to add some fresh garlic, and we're going to press the garlic with our garlic press. Now. I have three garlic presses in um, my kitchen because my husband and I use garlic so often that we hate to um, have to keep digging through the dishwasher. See, one's already in the dishwasher. Um, we hate having to dig into the dishwasher for it. Uh, one is in my kit, so we use garlic all the time. Now, this is a head of garlic, not a clove of garlic. And you use a head of garlic, if a whole head, if you're going to be using it for... Um, Roasting. I've got a great recipe if you love um, onion garlic dip. Uh, I've got a great recipe that uh, you can look up on my website. And you take our manual food processor and you process the um, one onion and you put it in our one of our bakers. And then you take that and you take a whole head of garlic, you cut the top off of it, skin on it, and you set it on top of the chopped onion drizzle it with oil, crank some salt on it, and then roast it in the oven at 350 degrees for 5-0, 50 minutes, 5-0, not 15. And um, when it comes out, you stick it all back in the manual food processor, puree it, add your sour cream uh, and mayonnaise to that, let it sit in the uh, refrigerator overnight, and you have the best French onion dip. So if you like hell of a good dip, you're gonna wanna try this dip. It is addicting when I make it. Um, so we're going to add some garlic to this recipe. Um, I did bring out our honing tool because a lot of people don't know um, that you're supposed to hone. Um, hi from Ohio. Hey, welcome. Um, that you're supposed to hone your knives all the time, like once a week if you're using your knives regularly. So honing, do you see these two little um, X's? Those are ceramic um, uh, X's there. And what you're doing is you're dragging your knife end to tip, end to tip, end to tip through there, and it balances your knife. When you're using a knife, it bends in one direction or another or gets these little barbs on it and it won't cut as well. So if you got a knife and it was cutting great when you first got it, but now it's not cutting so well, you probably just need to hone it. And you can buy a honing tool on my website um, uh, at any time. You can add it to a show, you can host a show and get it for free, um, however you would like to get that for yourself. But you definitely wanna get a honing tool if you have professional knives. Now, you know you have a professional knife if it has a lifetime warranty. Our knives and our cookware have a lifetime warranty. So if you have not seen the new knives, I'll make sure that I post um, the video on that. Or subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so because I upload a lot of these videos to my YouTube channel um, so that you guys can stay in touch and see what's going on. And if you're a customer of mine and not a Pampered Chef consultant, I'll add you to my customer VIP page. And you definitely want to get added to that because guess what happens? I do raffles, I do product giveaways, I tell everybody about the specials that are coming out, um, stuff like that. And I do share my videos into that page as well. So if you have some friends that love to cook or hate to cook like me, I used to hate to cook, um, and you would like to um, add them to the group as well, you can do that. They just have to fill out a little um, survey that tells me how we've met, how I know them, um, and that is good to go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix this up. I'm going to use my large mix and scrape. So see how it's concaved? These are silicone scrapers that are molded. The handles are molded on. So I used to joke when I would talk to my kids and I'd say, knock it off, stop beating your sister. Um, this would not go flying off and hit anybody in the head. So it was safe. So uh, that's an important fact. You definitely don't want to be knocking anybody over the head with your scraper. But more importantly than that, you don't want the um, 
the gunk to get stuck up into the center of your scrapers. You know, and the cheap ones that you buy, um, they come apart and you'd be disgusted with the amount of bacteria that is on those. And these are stain resistant, meaning you actually can stir spaghetti sauce with these white scrapers and then just stick them in the dishwasher and they're gonna come out um, clean. And because they're white, if they do get stained, I find that carrots and red peppers are the worst two things that stain my cutting boards. You can just, um, go ahead and um, put a little bleach and water on them. So uh, I am putting the garlic oil. We're gonna salt and pepper this. I have my oven up at 425. And I just love roasted vegetables. These are just one of those things that you can't get enough of, right? They have a really great flavor to them. So, oh, another thing. If you're on one of my uh, Facebook VIP groups or you're in my um, one of my virtual parties, I want you to go to my website and I want you to find the new salt and pepper shakers and uh, post it in the group. Don't post it to me privately, but post it in the group. And if I see it posted in the group, um, either a picture of it or the item number or a link to my website with it, I will give you bonus, 10 bonus tickets for doing that because I want everybody to um, see the new stainless steel. It's beautiful. My house is kind of country, so I gave those away. I gifted those to a friend. So, um, although now I'm rethinking it because I really like the way the new ones fill. Um, you, you can fill them from the top. This fills from the top too, but you have to fill around the little stick that's in the middle. And um, my dog's being crazy after she eats. She, she acts funny. Um, oh, let me show you. My oven is dirty, but I'm going to show you these beautiful. See these um, silicone um, protectors over the edge? Those are, um, see, I never thought I'd show you my oven, so I didn't clean it. Um, uh, those are to protect you when you stick stuff into the oven. How many times have you knocked yourself on the um, metal? So now, those are silicone, and those will keep you from burning yourself when you put stuff in with your pot holders, etc. So those are new this season. You can buy those on my website as well. They are called oven protectors. And um, my cutting board is the older version of the cutting board, but these are great. These have um, silicone around the edge. The new one is gray, so a little bit more neutral. Mine are the blue. They have beautiful measurements on them. You want to use these or you want to use, um, oh, here's a gray one. I'll show you. So see the nice gray, this is the small bar board. Or you wanna use the polyurethane boards. And the reason you wanna do that is because you want your knife to cut into, <laughs> cut into, the, um, into the cutting board because when it does that, um, it's helping you not dull your knives. If you have granite, glass, or wood cutting boards, you're ruining your knives. You don't wanna be cutting into that. Our bamboo cutting boards, we do have some carving cutting boards. You're not doing regular cutting on a bamboo board. Um, so uh, bamboo is better than wood, obviously, because it doesn't, um, uh, doesn't absorb the moisture. So bamboo is also a green resource. You can grow full-size bamboo in three years on like a tree. So don't use wood. Don't buy the cheap stuff at the dollar store. Buy um, the really good bamboo stuff that you can stick in your dishwasher and that will last. Um, and make sure that you're using good cutting boards for your knives so that they'll last a lifetime. So I'd love to hear what you guys are having for dinner or for lunch today. I'm going to be in my office shortly um, and jumping online, but I figured I would prep some food now so that I don't have to think about it later. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and remember, if you're in my virtual party, you get 10 bonus points if you private message me. And if you're not in my virtual party, you should private message me because we should get you set up so that you can have a free shopping spree. Thanks for joining and watching me, everyone. Have a great day and subscribe to my YouTube channel.